After you remove the ten screws from that side, proceed and to remove these two screws here. These two screws here. Then there's uh, four screws on this side. So just remove those. Now there may be some confusion on which screws I meant because there's four screws actually on this side. It's actually the top two screws. These two bottom screws are does not hold the actual body in place. So you can leave those there. These top screws that are farthest away from the center are the ones that you need to remove. Now once you remove all the screws that are inside the uh, battery compartment, you flip over the notebook, open it, and just gently now pull off the keyboard and uh, touch pad. Now it's connected here, so don't pull off right away and just gently disconnect it. Okay, there you go. Now you have access to the memory, to the hard drive, to the disk drive, to the fan, to the airport. Hey, this is Rich. You know, here have a laptop track showing you how to remove the disk tray from a MacBook 13 inch. Now, if you not already have done so, you have to remove the hard drive and this, uh, this is actually the hard drive caddy for the MacBook and it goes here, comes off pretty easy. This top cable, which actually connects the hard drive to the motherboard. And also there's one screw here, you can't see there. There's one screw that's there that must be removed. And after that, you can pull up gently on the hard drive. You see it's getting loose. 